We certainly didn't have to go far. A state of emergency was declared in New York, New Jersey, Tennessee. Plenty of people having trouble right here officially. It's all different, but we got close to 11 inches in Central Park. But look what happens when you go and you have the snow plows. We've got big issues. One and a half to two foot piles all over the city this morning. And look at the numbers from around the region. I want to show you. Philadelphia, 13.5 inches. Places in Massachusetts, close to a foot and a half. And look at Boston, just short at five inches, but of course still snowing just south of them. D.C. on the lower end, but some parts of Virginia and Maryland up to eight. The wind chill is going to be the next big issue. My lips are already starting to freeze. 12 below is what it feels like here, but 10 below Chicago. From Texas to Maine, wind chill advisories. Wow, this and this is going to stick. But look at Plymouth, Massachusetts. That's exactly where we find our Gio Benitez still fighting the wind and snow. Gio. Good morning to you, Ginger. Yeah, this wind is really hammering us. And remember, I was in Chicago during that last polar vortex, that last uh, winter freeze that we had here. And this is just like nothing we've seen before. Let's take a look right here with our yardstick. We got in this position between 10 and 13 inches. Some parts of Plymouth County have some 15 inches of snow. It is just nuts here. And this is really causing a mess on the roads right now. Holy cow. Ice road anarchy. Drivers from Illinois to Massachusetts this morning, spinning, sliding, and struggling. It's so bad out here. It really is. It's I'm slipping and sliding at every light. In Roxbury Township, New Jersey, this charter bus losing control on the icy road and plunging on its side down an embankment, reportedly injuring three people. A similar scene northwest of Boston, where a tractor trailer jumped a guardrail barreling onto the road below. An icy multi-vehicle pileup in central Indiana shut down this highway for hours. And this car just outside Washington, D.C., losing control on the Arctic asphalt. For vehicles still on the road, those brakes just won't work. And blinding snow, dangerous for drivers and pedestrians alike. Watch how a sudden whiteout east of Chicago caused this person to virtually disappear, only to reappear just inches from this car. Watch again, the driver unable to see this pedestrian until the very last second. And overnight in New York City, the iconic 32-foot glass cube encasing Apple's flagship store shattered, reportedly by a passing snowblower. Reports say the panel will cost an estimated $445,000 to fix and Apple might want to get that fixed quickly since the store has become one of New York City's most photographed attractions. And take a look behind me. That bay, that famous bay here, is just completely frozen over. The feels like temperature right now, nine degrees, but I gotta tell you, it feels much colder than that, Ginger. And it will feel colder for a long time to come. That's exactly what I want to tell you, Geo and everybody else. Let's look at that storm, where it's going when it finally pulls away from the Cape and leaves us all alone. We'll be early this morning through the afternoon hours, but the wind, the cold is what sticks behind it, and we are going to keep that. The numbers are just ridiculous. Yes, it's late January, but these are certainly below average. Look at that Arctic air. Green Bay will wake up to two Friday morning, Boston five, even Raleigh at 13. George, right here in New York City, we're at 26 inches, 16 inches above where we should be at this time. And that means, thank you, Ginger, that means a lot of messy roads. WABC's Rob Nelson out there right now. Good morning, Rob. Well, good morning to you, George. We are driving now here in Queens the last few hours, really, and we've seen the main roads. They look pretty good, to be quite honest, but as always in a storm like this, the side roads are the real test. We're through a couple of streets in this part of town that really are still snow covered, and because it's so brutally cold out, a lot of patchy ice facing morning commuters today. And of course, this is a big test for the new mayor of New York City, Bill de Blasio. This is the second storm that he's had to deal with since taking office, and also a big decision today to to keep New York City schools open. So the verdict is not in just yet, but it, a lot of it depends on how well and how safely those kids get to school. And of course, employees get to work over the next few hours as the morning rush really begins to heat up in a very cold and snowy New York City.